Kyiv Post got the inside track on how the whole range of drones Ukraine uses to take on Russia's invaders, seeing the components used, how they are put together, and tested. The modern Russo-Ukrainian war is changing all the rules on the battlefield. While in 2022 traditional means of destruction, aviation, artillery, tanks, played a key role, now everything is different. The main strikes are carried out by drones, which have de facto replaced artillery and, partly, cruise missiles, and now fulfill the roles of both infantry and mortar units. Drones, a cheap yet extremely effective product, are effectively nullifying all previous military experience. A successful operation by Ukrainian special services to destroy Russian strategic aviation shows that drones can be used anywhere, under any conditions, to hit any targets. This is an entirely new war and since 2022, its tone has been set by Ukrainian engineers, enthusiasts, and military personnel. Andriy Malyshev is one of them. An engineer and founder of his own drone manufacturing company, he now produces thousands of UAVs for the Ukrainian army every month in one of the cities in western Ukraine. It is in factories like this that Ukraine's victory is being forged. Let's take a look at how everything works here and what a modern, mass-produced drone consists of. Ukrainian engineers, enthusiasts, and military personnel have grabbed this entirely new way of waging war with both hands since 2022. I'm just from Lugansk region. I graduated, uh, I took my study in uh, Sevastopol, uh, Sevastopol National University of Nuclear Power and Energy. I just uh, started studying whether this is not drones occupied. It was a Ukraine territory by Ukrainian control. Drones and UF technology, a long, long time ago, it's like was a hobby in university. So we uh, created some uh, special projects by, with the sonar technologies. When war is starting, I decided to help our militaries to create some small drones. Gradually, he realized the value of drones and decided to start production in earnest with new models and his first employees appeared. Now they have a real industrialized production line. Now we have uh, 25 people in our company. We can produce, uh, for now, we can produce 3,000 drones at the mouse. But uh, now we have produced, uh, it's like uh, 1,500, something like that, because it's different. It can be, it can be 10 inch doors, 30, 13 inch doors, multiple used drones, one uh, one TV kamikaze used drones. So we have now a lot of uh, drones that are uh, not for one use and we have service. So for example, if something broken, it's multiple used drone like a bomber, it's something broken on front line or it's error of the pilots of military, never mind. It's uh, or it's our error in the like some decisions. It's, it's never mind. Uh, we can produce and we can repair these drones. So we have some drones to repair, and we have service, and we help, uh, and we have have feedback from militaries. Uh, they say, oh, this is comfortable for my, for example, to plug in uh, the budget. Oh, it's not comfortable. Oh, can you please bring the some. Uh, high uh, antenna, or can you bring please uh, another megahertz uh, frequency antenna? Production kicks off on 3D printers, which are used to make the frame of the drone and certain components. If needed, the frame is made from a duralumin alloy. The company can also produce metal parts itself. Now it's popular is 10 inch drones. It's like can be multiple use with different frequencies, with different vi uh, video transmission system, with video radio control, and uh, with different uh, firmware. Uh, so you can choose. But it's 10 inch. So uh, it's our 13 inch. Uh, it's our frame we made. It's iron plate. Uh, so you constructed yes. this and you invented this. Yes, yes. And we produce, we have our. A small manufacturing metal uh, that we can produce these frames, and it's uh, all uh, all duralum, and then cheaply to produce, and also it can be used for mu multiple use for uh, kamikaze use uh, for one way uh, can uh, take payload three kilograms, and uh, for example record was is uh, two point five kilograms for thirty five kilometers by forty of forty two brigade of Ukraine. Next comes packaging, a complex process that has to be adjusted for each specific type of UAV to ensure the flight controller, motors, cameras, and so on arrive in one piece. Previously mainly imported Chinese components more and more are being produced in Ukraine, which has become important 
because now a de facto, a partner of Russia, future access to Chinese parts is becoming more difficult and may stop altogether. In 2024, it's very, very big progress because, for example, now in our drones, we have our own frame because we are producing, for example, our frame 13 inch, 15 inch drones, etc. And big drones, we produce our own uh, uh, frame. So we are not buying it from China. We have our uh, power tools that we can produce that. Uh, but we need some uh, electronic components. For example, motors, we now unfortunately use Chinese because uh, it's in Ukrainian big motors are not producing, producing for small, uh, small drones, for example, FPV 10 and 7 inch. But we now have a cool Ukrainian uh, manufacturers that produce Ukrainian uh, flight controllers and electronic speed controller for medium and small drones. So we are now use uh, their flight control. So all the stuff that you see for uh, uh, the drones here in Ukrainian flight controllers that supporting our pilot. So we can, uh, as you see, some attacks from uh, military uh, strategic aviation that was in use. Andrei Belchev, one of the company's engineers, showed us examples of Chinese and a Ukrainian circuit boards, telling us the domestic version offers better performance and is more reliable. Повністю сюда там розпалювався, всі мені там приколи розпалювали. Це оце вже мозок виключно українського виробництва. Компанія називається Тихо. Тобто вони зробили вже там міста парік, ми зробили контактні вже групи, це бисніше, ти вставляєш, вставляєш. Тобто вони повністю скупували цей мозок, але прибрали там ненужні такі речі, як там типу Wi-Fi, покращили качество барометрів, там гіроскопи і сьогодні. All these details are important, as each drone model is built for different tasks. One example is an FPV kamikaze drone, a one-time use unit. Another can be used as a reusable bomber for reconnaissance drone, logistic carrier, and so on. With a digital system, it's like a bomber, not one way. With a digital system, it can be DJI, it can be Volksnail digital system, different digital system, but new digital system. We can produce some uh, plastic stuff to and uh, camera. Gimbal, so you can look uh, down and uh, drop the systems. You can choose, you, you need one drop system or two drop systems, as you wish. Also, we have a uh, booster antenna to boost the signal. Also, we have 17-inch drone with two cameras, with thermal camera, with uh, usual camera, and you can switch on uh, first camera or second camera. You can choose at the time. So you fly in and choose and you, you, you say, oh, I, you can see nobody. Okay, I will turn on our thermal camera. Okay, I see the enemy. He's like in the forest, something like that. And the Ukrainian flight controller here. So we are using, so it's all, this brain is Ukrainian made. The drones they produce are used in operations by several dozen units. His engineers constantly train soldiers and test new drones on their own training ground. They also regularly experiment with different new models. Here, for example, are exclusive shots of a drone firing an anti-tank grenade launcher. The effective destruction of modern Russian Zala reconnaissance drones in the south was also their work. Here's a video showing the Zala being destroyed by a direct explosion. Once the drone's electronics are fully assembled, the software must be reflashed and all contacts checked to make sure everything is connected correctly and functioning properly. This is Andrei Belchev's job. But they don't stop there. Development is constant, Malyshev tells us. Some drones already in production can track their location automatically. They can return or strike a target without operator guidance, without the need for GPS, navigating by comparing the terrain with images stored in the onboard computer, making them more resistant to electronic warfare countermeasures. Andri and his wife's motivation to continue the work each day, like that of every employee, is personal. Their whole family is fighting. First of all, all the family is fighting. Brother, sister, father, 
Ну, батька вже вже вифі немає. Через то плюс родич попав в полон. І відповідно так, так то все і почалося. З ми почали з першим двоє, Андрій і я робити, потім відключили сина, а потім вже самі перші у нас Тарас і Петро були. Це директор. Так, директор, співзасновник е, організації роботи, закупкою товарів, е, повністю займаюся, з військовими спілкуюся, правильно організувати людей, підібрати, підбором займаюся працівниками. Drones in modern warfare, says the company founder, are not just a new means of striking the enemy. They offer a shortcut to victory, a way to save strength and lives. What Ukraine is doing is defending the civilized world from Russian aggression. And that's why Ukrainian drone manufacturers, like Ukrainian soldiers, need continued support from the civilized world. Uh, I think we need to um, we need run we are not we not need to move quickly we need run we need run because they are uh, the, the enemy have have a lot of a lot of manufacturers as a well. so we need a lot of manufacturers too we need to, a lot of engineers too and we need a lot of drones too so we need running and uh, like you know it's like a race so uh, who have more drones have more possibilities we're losing the people and we need more technology and more possibilities and more and more support from you uh, because rockets are coming uh, planes are coming and war is not over for one month for one wing and now is half of the year and war is not over 